What's up my peoples, it's your boy Styles Morales and I just wanted to show you guys something really cool that I came across so I just want to make a quick video, I tried to make one um, earlier, it was just too long so let me cut it short and get right to it alright so mage.space right I've been using these guys for a lot of my um, AI generative uh, images especially like character models and stuff like that and I've been getting back some fantastic stuff. It's right up there with Mid Journey, and in some cases, I think it even surpasses it. Um, so this is an image of a female character that I come up with. I've been trying to use her prompt throughout all the different models since the beginning. And um, her name is Yumi Hirokima. And uh, I'm actually going to make a show about her, but I'll talk about that on another video. Um, I just wanted to show that you can control the background. So if you just want to go ahead and um, change just the background, this will allow you to isolate the background. All right. Same with the foreground. You want to change the character, but not so much the background. You can go ahead and do that. All right. Um, the other thing is you got your prompt strength. Now, in order for this trick to work, in order for you to get an image that looks similar to what you see here, you want to make sure that the prompt strength right is all the way down. Otherwise, you're going to have the AI kind of making some executive decisions that you're not going to like. It's, I mean, it'll come out with something good. It's just not going to be what you were trying to do. So now once you have your image, you want to drop in a um, prompt that matches what you're trying to get from the image. And then you're going to go into models and select v1.5 okay um with my models i usually use the realistic um asians let's try it what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch it up and i'm going to do the any burst um and down below you've got these other things that you can um, select and i think i was using originally oh here we go i was using the easy negative all right so what this does is it adds all the negative prompts for you um and then you can add your own afterwards but I'm going to go to settings. This is the second thing that you want to do. Um, well, actually, this is like the third thing. <laughs> so drop down to the scheduler. All right. I usually use DDIM. Um, I was messing around with some of the others. You'll get some mixed results with some of these. Uh, so it's just a, uh, um, you know, a game. It's just a trial and error. Play this, play that, and um, you know, keep re-rolling and trying to see what you get. You can see that the um, fast negative has been, you know, tagged in there. So I'll be able to get a, uh, a good list of negatives. Um, and other than that, the last thing that I always do is I try to mess with the guidance scale. All right, and then the steps. Um, and then with those, you can again to taste. It's just like you're cooking. You know, you want to just get it right to the taste. Um, and the way you get there is you just, you know, go ahead and generate the video. It takes about a minute. Um, and so before I let you guys go, I'll go over this really quick one more time. Um, so you want to be in uh, the models. You can create your image in SDXL or bring your mid journey image or bring a Dolly 3 image, whatever. Um, and then you could drop it into the image. Um, once you add it there, just make sure that you're dropping that prompt strength all the way down. All right, and then um, then you're gonna jump into SD V 1.5. All right, that's Stable Diffusion version 1.5, and then you get all of these to mess with. So if you want to, if you're like me, you're gonna sit there and try all kinds of different stuff. Use the same prompt and just keep hitting different, you know, different models. They all they also give you some extra um, stuff down here. And here we go. Oh, I really like this one. So. Um, I usually go for the full reveal, but lately I like the, um, the, the 2D stuff that looks 3D, kind of like the Arcane and, you know, the new Ninja Turtles. So, um, yeah, I mean, this, this is pretty simple, straightforward. You just drop it into 1.5 if you want to animate. Other than that, I mean, the steps are pretty simple. They're self-explanatory for the most part, at least for me. But I hope this helps you guys. If you guys are planning to use Mage.Space, they, they create some awesome stuff. Um, feel free to run over there. You can check my stuff out on Styles Morales. Uh, make sure that's with a Z um, for the, uh, the styles. Um, I'm on Styles Morales, Instagram, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, and even here on, uh, on the Twitter X. All right, so I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for hanging around. Um, and yeah, see you in the next one. Peace.